your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just... I want you to do something besides sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys <sighs> borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnapped. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just what? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years, but that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Hey, I haven't seen you at the Epsilon training. You okay? Here we are at the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. I'll take this one. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen.
Ah. Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! If you do go, don't say I... Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Hey, Let's go. Yeah, those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey. Fuck, oh, man. I like that. What's the problem? You're such a jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Go to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on, now. I'm about to skin you alive. God damn it. Go. Just injured. Turn around or he'll catch you too. Oh. You're a menace. They're both dead. I can't believe this. Just calm down. I did what I had to do. Let me take you back to your brother. I'm an accessory to murder. No, you're not. You're an accessory to self-defense. Have I, like, got to be a witness because I... I, like, did some blow? There he is! Jimmy, you daybag! You! You fucking asshole! Ah! Yeah, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cap. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. 